Okay, this is a really random tool haul video. I'm gonna start with this awesome Fiskars Pro and get this out of the way. The tang on the handles goes all the way back to here and to here. It's got a lock, so it stays locked. I really like this thing. And yes, I have the little Ryobi power cutter thing, but I don't know, this, this thing just munches through all that annoying stuff like this. I really like this thing. This one is a Holt of Fours, and this one is a Mora Neve. The Mora Neve says, made in Sweden. This is the short bladed carving knife, made in Sweden. So if I ever decided to pick up a piece of basswood and carve it into a woodland animal, this is the knife to do it. This is the Holt of Fours, and this is a very basic knife. There is a burr on one side, that would strike a flint, but the other edge across the top is rounded. These things are inexpensive. That probably isn't gonna affect the shipping much, and it's just a kind of a nice bonus item. Got this on Amazon DE. Um, I had in mind camping when I got this. Uh, the thing that's a little strange is, right here it says made in CH, but the handle says that it is Swiss made. This opens, it locks, okay? It's got the type of lock that you push to the side to release. It's got a nice detent. The blade does not flop around in here. And this is a, this is a really nice foldable camping knife, I think. I got two of these empty Knipex pouches on Amazon DE, and then I put my Knipex 8602180 in here. Technically, I don't think this pouch is made for this size. However, it does work even with the bulkier comfort handle. There's plenty of Velcro to come down and close the pouch. Okay, I've got this Holte uh deep hole red marker. This is like a hammer punch, like a hand hammer or a hammer punch. So if you're putting together a pouch and you don't have room for a hammer, if you put one of these in like an EDC kind of a pouch, you've got a hammer with you without carrying around a hammer. And then there's this loop on this side for a marker. Because this Victorinox knife is very flat, this fits in here really well also. And this is just one example of many things you could do with one of these empty Knipex pouches. They're not very expensive. Um, let's talk about this Focom Universal Cutter. This thing is nice. This does not say anywhere on the product that it is made in France. Even before I cut up all the packaging, I was not able to find any indication that this is made in France. It's, it seems quite rugged. It's got a nice lock on it. When you open it up, you can see here that the wire cutter overshoots. Well, this is as wide as the blades open here. But if you want to be using the wire cutter, you can flip this switch and it will always open exactly to the correct position for the wire cutter. Blades don't open as far when this lever is switched into this position. But if you want the maximum capacity, you flip the switch that way and then it opens all the way up every time. Sometimes when you see these on Amazon, you think, ah, oh, it's one of those cheap little utility cutters. This one is actually quite nice. Another very pleasant surprise from Focom is this VDE pliers and cutter. This thing feels like quality. I just got this and I haven't had a chance to use it yet. This set of Vera VDE uh, non-slim. These are just Phillips and flats. There's no posi in this set. This set is on sale on Amazon DE for about 20 euros. Then I got this Inbus i-series set of hex drivers. Uh, these have the ball end. Uh, these are the different sizes in the set. They don't say where they're made. 
But I posted these on Instagram and Chris Cass recognized these handles as being Oplast. And if you go to the Oplast website, you can see that there are handle types in their product line like this. So these would be made in Slovenia. The thing that I found to be most unique about these handles is their asymmetry. So if you think of a line dividing this half and that half, you can see that the curvature is larger on this side than it is on this side. So this has kind of one side that's a little more flat. If I rotate it this way, you've got symmetry there, but you've got asymmetry this way. These drivers want to lay flat on that flat side. You can see the non-grippy part and the grippy part. So the flat side is this side. So if this is laying on a bench, this is the side that wants to always roll down and be down. And you go to pick it up, and you're picking it up in the most comfortable position. Because of the asymmetry in the handle, it just, it just feels good right here in this position. And that happens to be the position that it wants to lay flat on. I, I thought that was kind of interesting. I couldn't find any marketing or catalog documentation explicitly explaining that. Let's talk about the linesman's pliers. These are the high leverage varieties. Instead of being centered here, they move that pivot point closer to the jaw so that you get more leverage. So these are a high leverage style linesman's pliers. And we've got a Filo here and a Knipex here. Okay, these are both made in Germany. You can see how similar they are in size. They both have the crimper. You know, the Filo has a little bit of a jaw here. And the Filo has these contours here for holding on to a nut or a bolt, whereas the Knip X doesn't have that specific feature. The handles are nice and loose. These aren't sticky. There is a clip system. You can clip a lanyard on here. Uh, the Knip X doesn't have that feature. All right, so this is the Stahlvilla feeler gauge set. You've got 0.05 millimeter all the way to one millimeter. They put the one millimeter and the 0.9 millimeter on the top and the bottom to protect 0.05 millimeter, 0.10 millimeter, 0.15 millimeter, 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and 0.9 millimeters. And these are also labeled with the thousands of an inch notations. And take the feeler gauges out if you need to do that. This is just a, a nice little set of feeler gauges. Let's just take a quick look at the Bosch professional level. Let me just give you the beauty shot of this little Bosch level. Uh, there's no magnets on it. It's aluminum. It's very light. Very light, very portable, just an inexpensive, handy little level. I saw a YouTuber reviewing this BMI tape measure and I had to have one. This is made in Germany. This hook fits on a belt and then it holds it like this. That's the hook. So when you hold this lever, it does the opposite of a typical tape measure. It actually extends by itself with the spring force in it. So the markings are on the inside, not on the outside. You have to manually retract it. I don't know, I don't know how much I'll use this, but I just had to have this in my tool collection. Because the markings are on the top of the curve, when you lay it flat, you've got an edge that rests right on the material. Both of the edges set flat on the material and the markings are on this side. That's the BMI three meter made in Germany backwards tape measure. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. So this is a 730 seconds Vera hex plus with holding function. So this is the 454 HF. It has the holding function BB on this end. It does not have holding function on this other end. 
I, I checked it for continuity and this is one piece of metal all the way through. And that's just one, that's just a quick look at one of these Vera Hex Plus keys with the nice handle on it. I've had this for a couple of years, haven't reviewed it. This is just a Vera drywall screw setter. It is made in Taiwan. So you put one of these insert bits in there, right? And then you can dial in how far you want those screws seated into the drywall without breaking through. Then there's this little lock nut here. So there's magnetic bit retention and there is a rubber o-ring in there and it holds the bit in there pretty good shouldn't struggle too much with the bit sticking into the screw and having to put it back in this this is a custom snakeskin laser etched knip x from edc outlaw I'm not going to demonstrate that i'm not going to demonstrate this you just put it on a screwdriver and it holds the screw it's no biggie it's handy to have for now, I'm just going to get it on video. All right, I got this little Philo adapter because it's a little it's a little lower profile. I thought this might fit in here. No, it doesn't. So it doesn't fit in here. I tried, so the quest continues. This is a empty BitSafe 61. I've reviewed these in other videos. I got a couple more of these. I really like these for organizing bits. If you're more interested in that, you can see those videos. All right, let's talk about this Vera decking and patio set. So it has, so you get the stainless steel wrap adapter in here. You get all these stainless steel bits in here. And then this is a super sophisticated version of one of these take a stainless steel bit. They've got a nice felt ring on here that rotates so that it doesn't mar up the surface on the deck or the patio. And then you adjust and lock the depth. Um, and I just, and I apologize, I just haven't had time. Then there, there, it also came with some spare felt rings. So the name of the game with this set is to set stainless steel screws at the right depth without marring up the surface. And of course you can put a non-stainless steel tip in here and put in regular decking screws also. But there it is. I wanted to get this set on camera so bad. I've had this set for so long, it's ridiculous. I'll give you links wherever I can find it. KC Tool had one left, I just checked. So this is the Tarasenbau set or the patio construction set. They're showing that you can set it to perfectly set the depth of the fastener without marring up the surface and this is made in the Czech Republic. This was a really random set of tools from KC Tool, Amazon DE, and some of these items are even available on Amazon USA. Some of them are on sale right now. You know how YouTube works, and thank you for watching.